All right, awesome. Okay, guys, welcome. Today I'm gonna to be swatching these new shades from Night Owl Lacquer. And uh, we're gonna do a live swatch on my nails here, just like always. Welcome to my channel. Those of you who are watching me live today and gonna to be interacting with me in the chat, thanks for coming and hanging out. And if you're watching this later, that's fantastic too. This is gonna go up on my channel. Um, this year, my videos are all for the foreseeable future, gonna be live videos. Hi, Nicole, welcome. So this is Night Owl Lacquer's Winter 2020 collection. So everything actually, except for that really awesome, vibrant purpley blue up there, that's the February cream of the month. The rest of these shades are in the Winter 2021 collection inspired by Eurovision. And that's that picture there, that's Will Ferrell and, um, of course I know her, but it's not coming to my mind right now, <laughs> um, from Mean Girls. Anyway, they made a Netflix show and this collection is inspired by that film and everything that we're going to look at today launches this Friday on February 15th and um, all the info is in the description bar below. I believe the release time is 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Yep. So... You'll want to set, set your clocks for that. Hi, Candace and Cammie, Chris, Gina, and hi, everybody. Rachel, that's right, Rachel. Her name is Rachel. So I actually only made it through, I would say, half an hour of this film. Um, but <laughs> since Lindsay, the maker of Night Owl Lacquer, inspired a whole collection after this film, it really makes me want to give it another go. This seems like it would be very appealing to me because I like Will Ferrell, I love Rachel McAdams, and I love music but I just couldn't really get into the film. But now I have all these polishes inspired by aspects of the movie. I'm going to rewatch and look for all of these polish names and I'm super pumped for that. So you guys, these are coming this Friday, January 15th. Already gonna be on January 15th on this Friday. It's so crazy. Okay, let's move this image up here and let's get to some live swatching. Who has seen this movie? Do you guys love this movie? Hi, Kirsten, good to see you. Um, let me know your thoughts on this movie. So we're actually gonna start with the February cream of the month. The Night Owl Lacquer creams are always super fantastically pigmented. You get quite a bite of color on your nails, a gorgeous creamy finish. So I'm gonna do two nails for each of these polishes today and kind of like how we do in swatch vest. Look at that pigmentation, and it was so easy, one coat. And the creams of the month stay around for maybe like three months or so. So you have the chance to pick up a few of the previous month's creams if you would like to while you're there. Now that you see how beautifully they swatch, definitely go check out some of the past months as well. So isn't that beautiful? Let me get my description up here. Oops, I minus it. Okay, so where did you go? Bruised Not Broken is a dark bluish purple cream. There we go. So that's Bruised Not Broken. Okay, so the first shade in the um, Winter 2020 collection inspired by Eurovision is a multi-chrome called I'm Checking You Out. It's described as a brown-based multi-chrome that shifts pink burgundy copper. It looks like this. I'm checking you out. So like I said, I don't know these um, names. I don't know the references for them, but I'm gonna rewatch and have them all freshly in my mind so I can catch what are probably some of the makers favorite parts of the show. So this one swatches really nicely in two coats. If you want an even more intense payoff from that multi-chrome pigment, you could swatch it at three coats. You could certainly swatch it over like something like this. That would look super, super cool. There are tons of options, but we're going to swatch it on its own today. So this is I'm checking you out with a really strong pink to coppery gold shift in the base. Let's do a second coat of Bruised Not Broken on one of the nails. I'm gonna show you how it doesn't need a second coat, as you can see, 
but I'm just gonna do one on one of the nails. This is like, if you could have a neon royal purple, that's how I feel about this color. It is so saturated, so pigmented, and even though it's like kind of a deeper color, it's just really got a strong bite to it. It's so pretty. So even though you can already see I popped up a picture originally of the color. Let me get you my full hand swatch up here on the screen. Here we go. So this is bruised and not broken. See what I mean? Oh, I just love it. That color is so bright, so strong. I love the message, bruised, not broken. It's really, really nice. Hey, Julia. Yeah, yeah, ding dong, basically once a day. You still think about that, huh? Hi guys, thanks for being here. Hey, Bird Loves Paint. Not completely your thing, huh, Candace? Stronger, braver, kinder. Fantastic. Okay, so now let me show you what um, I'm checking you out looks like. Oops, let's swatch a second coat and then we'll put the... Um... So as you can see, this one has this one has two coats, this one does not. You're not getting much of a color difference there, so you don't really need that second coat. You can just save your pigment. You can save your polish. Netto Lacquer bottles are nice, big and generous 15 milliliter bottles, by the way. They're, they're probably almost more like 16 milliliters, if that's something that you take into consideration when you're choosing where to spend your nail polish funds. So as you can see, it totally gets opaque at two coats. Just if you wanted to um, deepen that kind of ring from the shimmer a little bit more, you could put this over something darker, but you don't need to for opacity. So let me show you how this one looks in a full hand swatch. I have my studio lights shot and when I pulled out of the studio lights. So under my studio lights, you're getting mostly like the brown and the gold, just a little bit of a, like a greeny tint there on the edge. But then when I walked under my kitchen lights, <laughs> my kitchen lights are great for catching multi-chrome. You are getting these kind of shifts. And then as you can see in this lighting, it's a really gorgeous pink, like a strong, strong pink. So. That'll hopefully give you a good idea of most of the colors that you're going to see from this shade. And then let me get you the macro shot as well. There's not really maybe too much to see here because it's a shimmer, but as you can see, it's, it's really beautiful up close too. So let's move along. Um, the next shade that we're going to swatch is play. Is it ja ja ding dong or are we saying it like ha ha ding dong? <clears throat> Those of you who have seen this film. <laughs> this is a really, really beautiful emerald hollow. Let me take off these polishes real quick. Hope everybody's having a super great day. I have a really super fun, exciting surprise to tell you guys about in my next video, which will either be tomorrow or the next day. But I'm gonna wait and show you then. One more nail. Okay, one of my Christmas holiday movie staples is Family Stone that has Rachel McAdams in it. And I actually don't like, she's not one of my favorite parts of that film, <laughs> but that is one that I watch every year. Okay, so next we're gonna swatch this lovely. Let me move this thumb, this uh, out of here just a little bit. So this is Play. Let's see what you guys are saying, if it's Ja Ja or Ha Ha. Um, I don't think you guys have said if it's Ja Ja or Ha Ha, but anyway, play Ja Ja Ding Dong. And it's this really beautiful blue toned emerald linear hollow. 
So let's swatch it. How many are in this collection? There are six. And then the seventh polish that was in the thumbnail is the cream of the month for February. That everything's coming available this Friday. So this one gets beautifully opaque in two coats. I have a sun shot for you because the sun was cooperating today. Even though when I got in my car to take, um, Honor had to go have another tooth pulled today to like even out. The orthodont uh, orthodontist wanted it evened out. So because she had two pulled over here, um, she had to have another one pulled this morning. She's such a trooper. And um, it was 10 degrees which is cold for me coming from California. I know some of you are like, that's nothing. Next, we're going to swatch this one while we're waiting for that emerald to dry. This is Song Along. Song Along. Let me look up the description for this. So, Play Ja Ja Ding Dong is a vibrant teal green linear holographic. Song Along is a fuchsia jelly filled with silver holographic micro glitter and pink, yellow, green color shifting crystal chameleon flakes. So this will look totally different if you swatch it over something dark. Like if you were to wear this over the multi-chrome that is still up in the thumbnail right there or in the little uh, macro shot there, it's going to look like a really like deep garnet red or you're going to have this kind of pinkier fuchsia base. So the versatility of this polish because it's a jelly makes it really fun. So this is Song Along, Song Along, right Cammy? so pretty, how are you doing today Cammy? Alright, lots of beautiful hollow glitters in this one as well, I don't think I took that one outside, but I did take Play Ja Ja Ding Dong, if that is how you say it. Here's our second coat. I had no staining issues with this polish, by the way. I feel like that is a valid concern with any time you're wearing a teal. But So, there's a second coat of that. Oh, your internet's acting up. Hi, Sparkly Nails. Welcome. We are looking at the Night Owl Lacquer Winter 2021 collection. So here is Play Ja Ja Ding Dong two coats in my studio lighting. It's so gorgeous, guys. Wow. Just a jewel-toned beauty. Love that. And then I took her outside. And ta-da! So beautiful. Um, I think it's just a different way of saying I really like this color. I really like this shade. It's just like a shade of the rainbow, a color of the rainbow. It's just a different word for it. Let me give you my macro shot. There's your macro shot. <clears throat> so let's pop this up here and we'll do a second coat of Song Along, which is really fun to say. So this gets opaque in the two coats. You don't need to wear this as a topper. I was just mentioning first, at first, if you did, which I tried and I really, really liked it, but it does give it a really different look. If you wanted to wear this as a topper, you could get a, a pretty good variety of looks. In fact, if you wanted to wear this over a blue, you would get a more purpley look. You could just try all the things. How many coats should a jelly be to be opaque? It really depends on the formulation. If you have a lot of fine shimmers and iridescent flakies that you want to pop, if you have a sheerer formula, it's going to make those pop a little bit more as long as the base is a darker pigment. So, I don't personally wear anything um, if it takes if it takes more than three coats, I'll wear it as a topper because just because it takes more coats doesn't mean it's not you know, a great polish. It's just for me, the dry time doesn't really make too much sense for my life personally. 
if you are able to sit and let your polish dry, you can wear however many coats you want. <laughs> it's all up to you, really. There's not like a hard and fast rule how many coats it should take to get something dry. I just love this. It's so beautiful. She has so many gorgeous jewel tones in this collection. Night on Lacquer and her jewel tones. Oh, sorry. I, I minused that, but I wanted to show you the macro shot first. So there is that macro shot with all that hollow, all that bling bling. So for me personally, if something was going to take more than three coats to make my VNL disappear, I would either wear it as a topper or you could do something like wear a nude, um, like visible nail line disappearing base coat like the one that Polished for Days has. There's a few other brands that have similar things. Okay, so... Let's move those out of the way. We have three more shades. Okay. See, no staining. Okay, the next one we're going to do is Volcano Man. Volcano Man. And this one is a silver with a lot of um, Aurora Shimmer, and it has some silver flakies in it. I'll read you the description in just a second. Volcano Man. Okay, it says, Volcano Man is a light gray with red gold shimmer, charcoal flakes, and holographic micro flakies. So it looks like this. Okay, this one is pretty opaque because there is a lot of white in this base, giving a lot of tooth to this really beautiful light gray, but not too much that you can't see the lovely shimmer. So I wore this at two coats for my full hand swatch, which I'll show you in just a minute. And I did take this outside too. Really lovely. And then the next shade we're gonna swatch is Wear the Mountain Sing, and this one is described as an ethereal duochrome that shifts from mint green to lavender. And this one was giving me the feels. This one was giving me all the like OG duochrome vibes. So as you can see, it's really minty there, but there you can see the purple. And for me, under this lighting, it looks mostly purple. And then it's fun that as I look at the camera's monitor, I can see all the green. This is very oil spill. Let's see if you can see any purple if I go like that. See the purple, the green. It's really fun. I like it a lot. Let's do a second coat of this. And I only needed two coats on this one as well. Okay, so fun, so, so fun. Okay, let me pull up a photo of Volcano Man. It needs a little bit longer to dry before I pop that second coat on there. Okay, so here's my studio shot. This is a two coats. You can see my visible nail line a little bit because mine is pretty strong, but if yours isn't as strong as mine, then you probably, this is two coats, so you should be fine. And then it has all those beautiful charcoal flakies and then the hollow flakies. And let's take her outside. Love it. La 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 love it. <clears throat> Hi, Nicole. So now let me show you the macro shot and we'll do a second coat.
so pretty. So, so pretty. Volcano Man, Volcano Man, Vol, Vol, Volcano Man, wow. Couldn't get that out. <laughs> I was trying to match the two A sounds in my brain subconsciously. Um, must be the name of a song, that's what I'm thinking. Lots of beautiful shifty pigment in there. Okay, so that's two coats of that. Now let's do a second coat of Where the Mountains Sing, which is the duochrome shade. Really, really fun color for this time of year. Really feeling this vibe. Goes perfectly in this collection too. Are the, uh, I, the characters are from Iceland? Is that right guys, Iceland? Let me show you some photos. So where the mountains sing in my studio lighting looks like this. So, you can see all the green here on my nails and this is the same exact polish. So here you're getting like the full range of shift here, even though my studio lights only wanted to pick up the purple and silver. And then when I pulled out to my fluorescent lighting, I got more of the color there, but even still the green wasn't pulling out as much as it is right here in this lighting. So that's really good. I'm glad you can see all the colors. So, and then I did take a macro shot, even though this is, uh, you can see the shimmer there. So, really love this one. Such a fun collection. It's actually, I don't think I could pick a favorite out of this collection, but I really like where the mountains sing. Okay, last one up. We have You're a Dreamer, My Dreamer. It's like Captain, my Captain. Hi, Rachel. Yes, this is inspired by Eurovision Song Contest. Did I say just, is the whole movie called Eurovision Song Contest? Because I just said Eurovision, my bad. Hi, Snapdragon. <clears throat> We're on the very end of the review, but we will finish in just a minute and you can re rewind to the start. So this is from the brand Night Owl Lacquer inspired by the Netflix film with um, Will Ferrell and Rachel McAdams. This last one looks like this, and it looks like the night sky. And it's called You're a Dreamer, My Dreamer. And let me read you the description. It says, an aqua blue purple multichrome with bright silver flakes. So let's swatch it. I just stuck my finger in that, my pinky polish. <laughs> Whoops. These things happen. Okay, so I actually, I swatched this a couple of ways and the photo that I'm gonna include for you today has this swatched over um, Bruised Not Broken that we looked at first because it made it like an even more intense, dark galaxy kind of polish. Oh. And I got it on the table too. So I chose to show it to you that way just to show you the versatility. I'm gonna show you how it swatches on its own right now. And then my photo, just keep in mind, is over that other polish. But this does get opaque on its own. I just really enjoyed how dark it got with that base. So as you can see, the teal is really pulling out in this lighting. When I look at this polish, I see mostly the blue and the purple. But different lighting makes things look very different. That's why sometimes my swatches look very different than my filming on here. This is the perfect example to answer anyone that ever asks me why it looks different. It's just purely the different lights. And I swatch in a different area than my, um, my studio that I film in. Hi, hi Leanne. Oh, Bird Loves Paint, you just figured out which movie? Hey, let's talk more polish. Welcome. Okay, 
So while that dries, let me show you my photo. So, oh, I have three photos here, okay. So this first one is under my studio light. So as you can see, you're getting mostly the purple and the blue. And then here you can see all the teal. So that's really fun. And this is filmed over, or this is pictured over a dark bluish purple base. So that's, it's definitely bringing out the blue purple more. Um, and then here it is when I stepped out into the kitchen, bringing out some more of the teal. Um, you've still got a really deep galaxy base, but then you can see the shifty shimmers there. And then the macro shot looks like this. Ooh, let's just stare at that while I swatch another coat here. So pretty. See what I mean about galaxy vibes? You're a dreamer, my dreamer. So you can't really see my visible nail line at the two coats. Um, if you wanted to go for a third coat and just get it even deeper, but I don't think you need to. It gets opaque at two coats. So that is pretty much it, guys. That's going to round out the review for the Night Owl Lacquer Winter 2021 collection. I'm gonna pop these back up here so you can see in case you're just joining us. This is everything we swatched in this video if you wanna <clears throat> rewatch after we're done today. Everything launching on January 15th at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And that's gonna be it for today. Yeah, sparkly blue, isn't that interesting? So, it's just how it goes. Especially with shifty polishes, that looks totally different. Okay, guys, well, thanks for being here today. I appreciate it. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you back either tomorrow or the next day with a fun little surprise. And we're going to be swatching the um, Winter Beauty Collection from Clarissa Carol. Look at, oh, you can't see the blue because of the background, but it is this color right here this really awesome mint. Ah, I love it so much. So, okay guys, well, I will see you back tomorrow. Have a fantastic rest of your day and take care.